Which you guys got another video on how to reset all your Windows permissions to default with one click. Now this is very useful if you've been attacked by malware and malware has changed all your permissions. Maybe it's permissions in your browser or permissions on your Windows system and you can't do anything. So using tweaking.com's uh, Windows repair tool, we can use this to reset all of our permissions. Now you need to make sure that you remove all of the malware before you continue with resetting your permissions. So I've got the tool downloaded. Let's go ahead and get it installed. They do offer a portable version, so you don't have to install it if you want to go down that route, but use which one you want to use, whether it's the installer or the portable version. We're going to go ahead and install a uh, Windows repair tool here. Now it could be any sort of permission that you want to reset back to default, whether it'll be to do with your command prompt, registry, uh, Windows Defender, maybe it's uh, completely disabled all of those by using permissions to block it. And they use group policy permissions and things like that. And it stops you getting access to these by obviously changing them. So if you want to reset them after you've removed all the malware, or maybe it's just the fact that you've uh, messed up your permissions by tweaking too much, then you can use this method to reset them. So let's go ahead and open up the program, accept their terms and conditions. And here we have a bunch of tools available to us. We're only interested in the repair section here. We're not going to go through all of the stages. But if you want to see some more on this program, then let me know in the comments section below. It is compatible with all versions of Windows. So we're going to jump straight to repairs. And you can see here, there is a bunch of options available to us. Now, we're not going to be doing any other repair apart from permissions only here. So preset permissions only. Click on this one and it will just give you the permissions only section. Again, it's going to warn you that you're not in safe mode. And obviously, if you're using any sort of third party program like antivirus programs, it can block this from running. So you might want to go into safe mode. I'm going to accept these terms, conditions and run this at the desktop here but you get the general idea of what you need to do if you want to run this tool. Now you can see here, this will reset and remove a bunch of different permissions uh, on your system. And these can be essential to getting your system back up and running. It can also repair a lot of things too. So take a look at the list here, file associations, it can fix, uh, repair your network. The ones already ticked up here are repairing and resetting all your registry permissions, your file permissions and your services permissions. And it's also registering system files and also repairing Windows firewall and a load of other ones like repair your host file, which is a common one that gets attacked by malware. Remove all policies set by infections. That's another great one to use. And again, we've got some other ones on here like uh, remove any sort of proxies settings which is another key one that malware likes to mess around with and repair your network there's a load of other ones on here which you can tick but i'm just going to concentrate on removing the policies and resetting all the permissions on the system by check marking those ones here now thing to remember is the more you check mark when you run the actual uh, program by clicking start repairs the more you check mark the longer the actual process will take so Bear that in mind when you're doing it. So it's going to go ahead and you're going to see a bunch of boxes popping up on the screen. This is normal and uh, you'll see there is some text going on in the background and there's a gray prompt box popping up here, which tells us it's doing certain things. So it's restoring default permissions in our registry here and it will go through a bunch of areas inside there and reset them. Now it goes without saying, if you're going to be running anything like this on your PC, then it's always advisable to back up your PC data. Again, if you've had malware on your system and it's done a load of permission changes on your PC, you may want to consider backing up your data and using the reset this PC option on Windows to take the PC back to default settings. It's always advisable as well to contact your bank and change all of your passwords and bank details just in case the malware on the system was related to some sort of banking, uh, sort of malware, key logging sort of stuff and things like that and this is why it's important to have a, an antivirus program on your computer especially if you're not that clued up when it comes to uh, you know uh, using the computer correctly you can end up getting infected and you just don't know exactly what type of infections they are on your pc now you can see here it's resetting the permissions to our services here 
So if you have made tweaks to your PC, it's going to reset all of these. So bear that in mind as well. And that is now done. And we now need to restart our PC. So I'm going to quickly click restart. And I'm just going to force this by restarting the PC manually. That's OK. And then once the PC is restarted, you should be back up and running. Now, you shouldn't be using tools like this if you're not familiar with what it's actually doing and uh, if you're not familiar with how Windows works. Again, once you start getting into this level, you're sort of moving on to the advanced level of PC repair. And if you're a beginner, uh, you really should start consider backing up your data and resetting the PC, like I said, using the Reset This PC tool. A lot of people don't like resetting their PC and they want to try and fix it. But just bear in mind that malware is super malicious and it can hide in places and you need to make sure your PC is 100% clean before you start doing any sort of repairs like this on your operating system. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Be careful in the sun out there. It's super hot and I shall catch you in the next video tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.